Ellis Island was a, a documentary, was my first documentary project, and so it was uh, a project really of, of, of passion. I uh, had a one-day assignment on the island, uh, actually had one hour to take some pictures that were going to be used in a, uh, an article for Encyclopedia Britannica, and it ended up becoming a five-year, you know, uh, almost every free moment I had going out on my own and photographing. It changed my life in a lot of ways. I never uh, did architecture photography before. It was the first time I ever did that. I think, but what, what happened to me was I would be shooting pictures of empty rooms, and I started as a street photographer. That's where I learned my training. And so I developed an instinct when I could walk up to you and sort of see something and sense you being open to me photographing you, or you project something at me that said, don't even think of taking his picture. So that instinct stays with you the more you become a street photographer. Well, I would walk into these rooms, and I felt that kind of energy. I felt embraced. Very rarely I did feel pushed away. And I couldn't really sort of rationalize what I was feeling. I'm not like a ghost guy or anything. But, but this uh, ability to sense those things um, translated into my photographs. So I started to make pictures. And as I got my pictures back, I started to realize that there was something beyond the subtext of the, the work. It was not just about patina and color and light, but there was something palpable, some sense of humanity that was in these rooms that I was capturing. So it became a benchmark in my work.